This video will cover how to log in to the online patient portal. The patient portal allows the practice and patients to communicate with each other in a secure environment. Portals are created automatically with a valid email address. There's nothing that you need to do to get it going. You will receive this email into your inbox with the information that you need to log in. You'll have your initial username right here and your initial password. There are two links in this that will allow you to gain access to the portal. The first one is good for a one-time use only click. Um, when you click on it, it will ask you to update your password. And unfortunately, I've already clicked on it, so I can't show you what that looks like. So this video is going to focus on this link down here. So with this information, you need to go to a website address and start typing in ifsmed.myfdocs.com. And the site will come up and this is where you want to go initially to click here to sign in. And you will need to use that username from your initial email, which is clinic. And then you also need to use that initial password. You'll need to verify your date of birth upon the very first time that you register. And then you can tell that you're logged in successfully because it will show your name and your patient information up here at the top. Now, the practice messages that will get sent to you will be under this tab over here called Messages. This right here is the information that has been sent to me. So whatever you need to find, you would want to click on that individual item and the information gets populated over here in this right panel. Now you can expand this panel by clicking on this arrow over here and it makes the window wider so you can kind of see the information a little bit more easily and you can scroll down to find the information that you're looking for. Now these buttons up here, I'm gonna describe these. The reply button allows you to send um, an email back to the practice um, through the portal. So you can type anything in here that you would like and hit reply to the article. This forward button doesn't really act in the manner that you think it would. This actually is really only used to send um, emails to other practitioners who also use Updocs. So it's highly unlikely that you would actually be using this feature. Print um, allows you to print locally to your printer and open as a PDF allows you to um, open the document. You can save this to your desktop. You can save it to a flash drive um, that allows you to use it for future use. Now, when you are in here, you can also just send us a message by using the send message button. You can type in your message in here and that will get to us at the practice. And then my profile button allows you to change anything that you would like to change after your initial sign in. So you can change your username. You can change your notification email address. This, this is a little bit tricky though because you want to make sure that if you change it here that you actually change it with the practice as well. Uh, one thing to note that if there are two people from the same household that are using the same email address, uh, one of them is going to get a string of numbers um, that you probably you won't know what they are. So it's highly recommended that you actually call the practice to reset that username. And right here is where you can change that password into anything that you would like that's more memorable for you. You can change your time zone. You can choose a different language if you would like to. And this is, if you really don't want to receive any information from us, you can actually opt out of receiving anything from us by clicking the CS button. This family access button over here allows you to grant access to somebody else in your family or acquaintance that you would like to have access to receive your information. 
Um, and I think that's about it. If you had anything else that you um, needed that you can't get into, you would definitely just need to call us here at the practice and uh, we can get everything squared away for you. This video will cover how to log into the online patient portal. The patient portal allows the practice and patients to communicate with each other in a secure environment. Portals are created automatically with a valid email address. There is nothing that you need to do to get it going. You will receive this email into your inbox with the information that you need to log in. You'll have your initial username right here and your initial password. There are two links in this that will allow you to gain access to the portal. The first one is good for a one-time use only click. Um, when you click on it, it will ask you to update your password. And unfortunately, I've already clicked on it, so I can't show you what that looks like. So this video is going to focus on this link down here. 